and welcome to Imperfect Garden. Today we are going to do one of the most important tie knots that you should know as a man. And that is of course the four in hand knot. I will not bore you with the history of this uh, tie knot because it has a substantial history and it's a little bit of mysticism about it. But it's a very old tie knot uh, and it's been around for a very long time. It's a very good tie knot. Most men know how to do this because it's fast, it's simple, and you can use it. This is like an everyday tie knot. It's not like when you go like with a half windsor or a, like full windsor or like the normal windsor. That's more like a formal tie knot. It's like the everyday tie knot you can use like in your business or in your school or like in the military because this knot, the four in hand, is also called the simple knot, it's also called the schoolboy knot, and I also know, like the, I think it's the USA Army and Navy uses this as one of the uh, regulatory tie knots that they can use. So how does it look and what it is good for? I would say it's a small knot, it's narrow, it's not symmetrical, uh, this side, my left side, will have a biggest part of the tie will go up. Uh, since it doesn't use so much fabric, this is a good tie for, if you are a longer man, uh, this is a good one because you can get a much longer tie because it doesn't use so much fabric. Like if you go with the full Windsor, it will eat a lot of fabric and it will get shorter tie and that will look very strange if you are a tall man. So, with which kind of shirt should you combine with the four in hand uh, knot? Well, I should say like, if you have like a shirt like this, that is a little bit more pointy, not super wide, this will look good. Also, if you have a button down collar, uh, you could use with the, with the four in hand knot, because it is smaller, it gets roomy, and you know, you can't do that with a much fuller uh, tie knot. So let's not talk too much now. I will do another video probably one day and I will talk all about the history of all the tie knots and you will be very bored of it. So let's go now straight to actually tying the four in hand knot. Colors up. Let's do this. We do it two times. The second time we do a close up. So what you do? You first we do the thin part on your left side and you do it with the seam in. So you see you have the out, the outer part outwards at the start. So, let's see now. You take the thick part, you go over, that's easy. You go under. Then you go over again. And now we do the loosey noose. You see here, we have it loose, I have my finger, because already, if you compare it to the windsaw, already we are at the finish. Take the pointer part, you go up, take the point apart, and you go down. And voila, now you have it. Now I will just correct it so it does look good. And it's all adjusted. Remember, you, t you hold the, the thin part underneath, you pull it up, and you make it to look, it's full, and you get it even, and it looks very nice now. And you see, it's small, it's narrow, it's more of a business-like than wedding-like tie knot. Ah, you see, very fast, very simple. Let's do a close-up and you will see the four steps to do this. You start with the thin part on your left shoulder. You take the thick part of the tie on the right. You cross over, you go underneath and Remember them, the seam is now outwards and you cross over again and now you need to have it a little bit loose here because you take the point of the wider part of the tie, you go underneath the knot, take it off and now you see I have my fingers here so I can take the point, go through the noose and you pull. And now we will just start adjusting it. A little bit of adjustment and we pull down the collar. 
And don't be afraid to take your time to adjust it, it looks good. Because, uh, yeah, it takes a little bit. Look at that, we're finished. It's very fast, it's very simple. If you only know one tie knot, this is the one, the four in hand knot. It's simple and it's fast. Uh, I hope you like this video. Give me likes and subscribe and give me comments if you like to. Uh, and see you soon in the next video, whatever it will be about. Goodbye and have a very good Sunday.